All right, today I am so excited to bring you oh, one of the most wonderful people in the world. Cassie Joy's here. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so she is a master, brilliant at figuring out how to save you money by cooking. Mm -hmm. We all need her, need her in our lives. And you wrote an incredible book called Cook Once, Eat All Week. I love that title. So good. Does, okay. anyone, does anyone want that? I want that. I want that. Yeah, so I know, <laughs> like cook once and you eat all week. So she's here to show us some recipes uh, that you can make but for, from certain ingredients that you can eat all week and that will end up saving you money because the grocery budget line item is the one that gets busted all the time. Yes, yes, exactly. It's, it's like hard. a runaway train Yes, for me, especially if you're one of those people that likes food. You know, a little of this and a little of that. <laughs> this looks good, this looks good, yeah. <laughs> but the plan is important and so you're gonna show us everything we need to know to cook once and eat all week. Yes. Awesome. Let's dig in, this is so exciting. So what we're doing here is we're getting really creative and efficient. We're taking three main ingredients and then turning those into three totally different dinners. And we're combining a protein, a veggie, and a starch. And so on this one, we have chicken, we have broccoli as our vegetable. Broccoli is like the number one on our house. Perfect. Yeah, my kids love broccoli. Always in the That's fridge. Yes. yes, always there, yep. And then rice also usually in the pantry, right? And so we're gonna turn those three very seeming, if you put those on the plate, you might be like, oh great, it's just, it's supper, right? Yes. And this is dinner. But we're gonna get really creative with some other fun flavors and make it really fresh and interesting. So prep day, right? When most people think of meal prep. You're in the kitchen and you're prepping your food, but we're really just gonna prep those three ingredients so that we can then turn those cooked pieces into those different dinners. Yes, that's okay. right. Mm -hmm. So we spend about an hour or so prepping our food on a weekend, let's say a Saturday afternoon. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two chickens, whole chickens, or you can get rotisserie. I was gonna say, <laughs> I might do the rotisserie, Cassie. Don't get mad, don't get mad. I would no. never, no. That's great, I always make this week with rotisserie chicken. But if you found, let's say, whole chickens on sale at Super the grocery store. Super inexpensive. And yes, yes yep, grab them, grab two of them. Yep. So we're gonna roast our chickens, two of them, steam half of our broccoli, and the other half we're gonna rice. Have you ever made cauliflower rice? Yeah, uh, made, no, eaten, yes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so broccoli rice? Yes, oh, just it's got, really okay, exciting. <laughs> it's green rice. So we're gonna steam half of our broccoli, okay. pulverize the other half, and then the rice we're just gonna cook like you would on the pot. That's pretty, it's easy enough, right? That's, That's all the prep, prep you need. That's all the prep you need. And then those pieces are done and cooked, and we're just gonna move on to assemble. Perfect. Sound Perfect. Good? That's it. The three three main ingredients, and then you go on to the meals. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay, so this first meal that we're gonna make is chicken and broccoli fried rice. So to start it off, we're gonna crack a couple eggs, and we're gonna whisk those up, and then put those into a frying pan with just a little bit of oil, and then let those cook for about a minute and a half, and then this, and then it's done. And you just pour those into a separate bowl okay. and they're ready to go. And then from there, we're going to, to our skillet on the stove, add some fresh ginger. Oh, okay. And if you're not filling up for grating fresh ginger, that's okay too. <laughs> or the pat, does powder work? You yeah, bet yeah. it works. I've done it. Good, okay. Yes. Yes. I love my spice cabinet. So does my mom. Oh. Just open up your spice cabinet, so she always tells me, so. Rachel, just open up your spice cabinet. <laughs> I have lots of spices. <laughs> yes. That's so ginger's in there. You ginger's can make anything there. then. It's true. Okay, so what, that's what she claims, Cassie. So you and her can be on the same team. <laughs> mm, sure, broccoli rice. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we blow her mind. Okay, so we've got fresh ginger, and I'm also gonna put some minced garlic. Again, you can use powdered if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then what I'd like to do with these dishes, so I'm a nutritionist as part of my background, and I can't help myself. I wanna get some colors and some variations in these meals. Carrots is an example, you know, just something to give you a different color to the meals that you're having this week, but some shredded carrots go in. The carrots are also a really great food that you can freeze. Mm. If carrots are in season, you'll see them in the center aisle and, you know, stickers are everywhere. Just go ahead and grab them, shred them, and then pack them into a bag and put them in your freezer. It's a great way to freeze and take advantage of produce when it's on sale and in season. Okay, so we've got our carrots in there, and now we're gonna add our chopped up broccoli, mm -hmm. right? That's from the beginning, that's from our prep day, that goes into our skillet. Look, all, all the veggies in this fried rice. So beautiful. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let the vegetables steam for a little bit. All right, just let them simmer with that garlic and that ginger. You can put a lid on it, let that steam. And then once that's ready to roll, we're gonna take what we've done with our rotisserie chicken or your roasted air fryers if you've gone the old fashioned route and we're gonna shred the meat. So we're gonna add 
I'm saving some of this chicken for a future meal in the week, so we're gonna add some of that into this dish, toss it around, and then some of the other flavors that will eventually go in here are going to be some coconut aminos. Have you ever cooked no. these? These are yummy. Okay. So this is, for folks who can't have soy sauce, this is a great soy sauce alternative. Okay. And then a little sesame oil as well. Just a little bit. I do bit. love sesame oil. Oh, isn't it so good? It's great, yep. And then just some salt and some pepper. We have no, crushed no, red pepper. we don't want that yet. You want crushed <laughs> red pepper in there? Yeah, we'll do, go for you it. You want to? Yeah, you can eyeball it. Oh, here I go. Nailed it. <laughs> Might be a little crazy. Might be a little crazy. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, and so all this is simmering on the stove. You're just gonna let that keep going. You'll watch that the carrots are gonna wilt a little bit. The broccoli's gonna get a little soft. And then to seal the deal on this beautiful dish, we have some of our already cooked rice, yes. right? And I'm gonna go ahead and pour that right in. About half of it. About half of it. Of course, in Cook Once, Eat All Week, the book that we give you specific guidelines. And we have free downloads on fedandfit.com. Oh, good. Fedandfit.com. So yep. check that out, y'all. Yes. A little fresh cilantro to finish this meal. Beautiful. And supper is ready. Okay, so your chicken fried rice, meal number one. Yes. I love it. As a mom, every day I take precautions to give my family peace of mind. It's simple things like locking the front door, making sure the car seats are buckled in, and putting my phone away when I'm driving. But we don't always think about the bigger things. Like what if something happened to you or your spouse? That's why you need term life insurance. It makes sure your family's taken care of no matter what happens. I trust Xander Insurance. They keep my family protected and that gives me such peace of mind. They make things super simple and find the best options and prices. To learn more, call Xander today or go to xander.com. Make sure your family has the term life insurance they need. Meal number two. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so here we have a white chicken chili. Ah. Uh. And y'all, it's so easy. So good. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through it and it's very, very simple. We're gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna pour that in here and that's totally fine. Olive oil, avocado oil, butter, all of those things are really interchangeable when it comes to cooking fats. So we've got that and we're going to add a good, a good hunk of onion. I, I like onion. Do you like yes, onion? I okay, do. I do. you and my husband will get along. Yep. But he's one of those that will just sit there and eat it like an apple. Oh yeah, I don't do that, Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't like it that much, but I like it cooking. That's it. Does he really? Oh, yeah. Didn't the Grinch do that? I think Isn't so. that on the, <gasps> on the Grinch movie? Oh, that's totally it. I have little kids, obviously. I love we, it. We watch the Grinch a lot, but he's like, <laughs> gnawing on his onion. <laughs> okay, then we're going to add in some garlic right into our pan, and we're going to saute these until they're nice and you can smell them. Great. Right, yes. exactly. Yes. Yep. If it smells good and it feels right, go ahead and move on to the next step. Going. You're not gonna Follow break the it. Spirit yeah, yeah, exactly. You're not gonna break it. Okay, this is part of what gives this recipe such a yummy flavor are these canned green chilies. This is another favorite of mine, classic and Tex Mex cuisine. And we're gonna add a whole can. I like to drain them first, but you don't have to if you wanna get that extra yummy juices in there. And then we're going to go ahead and add some of our spices. We have oregano. All right, so a good dose of those. Cumin. Go for it, cumin. Yep. How much? Till it makes your heart happy. I would say about a teaspoon or okay. two. Mm -hmm. And then we can do a little pepper. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken broth. And another thing that you can do, this is one of my other favorite time-saving tips and budget-friendly tips is, so we've made our rotisserie, we have our rotisserie chicken, or you've roasted those air fryers. Mm -hmm. You can always take that, those bones with the pieces that are left over, stick that in a pressure cooker or in a slow cooker, and you can make your own chicken broth. Oh yes, I've heard people do that. I haven't done that, but a lot of my friends do it because yeah. it's so easy. It's so yes. easy. You're gonna love the broth. It's great. Okay, so we've added our broth, and then we're gonna add a can of white beans. Y'all, these are optional. If you're not into beans, or if you're not into the next ingredient, Corn. corn. You can use fresh corn, again, if it's in season and on sale, or you can grab frozen, which is what I usually do because I've always got it in the freezer. And then once this is done, after about 10 to 15 minutes, the thing that makes our chicken chili white is sour cream. We're going all in. Love it. Yes. I love sour cream. And then from here, we're gonna add some fresh lime juice, brighten it up. Okay, and then bacon takes this chili from average to amazing. <laughs> exactly. So our, our bacon goes in here, sprinkle it on in there, 
And then you're done. Once the simmering okay. has come to, it's done, 15 minutes or so. Really flavorful. And then what I like to do is really go big with your toppings, and that really gives it, again, that chili flavor, or the feeling is fresh cilantro again, avocado, and more bacon if you like. There you go. Oh, meal number two, easy, easy. Okay, so the last and final, yes. third meal to use with the ingredients. Yep. Is, you this where, is this where the broccoli rice comes in? Yep, <laughs> it sure is. You ready to make some green rice? Yes, I want to know how you do this. <laughs> okay, broccoli, chicken, casserole with, it's barbecue flavored. Okay, so what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna take a little bit of butter and then we add our Broccoli rice. Okay, food processor. Food processor. Okay. Yeah. I was like, sure. I know you. Because I, I should do that. rice with air quotes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Broccoli rice. Yes. Broccoli rice. Exactly. So we have our broccoli rice, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that right into our sauté pan. Mm -hmm. And so I like to cook it up. So we're just gonna sauté it, and then we're going to add some garlic powder, make it feel re yes. Yes. We're you know we're just gonna go ahead and press the easy button with this recipe. Don't worry about minced garlic if you don't want to chop it up, and then some salt. Some pepper. Yes, ma'am, some pepper. And now we're gonna take our already cooked rice that we made earlier in the week, right, on our prep day, and we're just gonna pour that right in with our broccoli. And what happens is it takes regular old white or brown rice, whichever one you've got on hand, and it just turns it green. Just a really yummy, quickie health food hack. And this becomes the base of our casserole. And this is such an easy, low maintenance recipe. You can do this while maybe if you're folding laundry, if you're working on the side, if you're helping with homework, whatever else is going on in your house. It's, there's, you're not gonna burn anything. Nothing's gonna get, you know, broken. Right, right. You have to take a minute. And I'm just gonna pour this into our casserole dish. And now, what we're gonna do is we're going to take that beautiful chicken that we prepped. It's back. It's, it's back. back. The chicken goes into a bowl, and we've already shredded this right, and I'm adding barbecue sauce. Nothing fancy going on here. <laughs> you can make your own if you feel like it. Use your favorite your favorite brand. Hit the easy button. I like, I like that saying. You just hit that easy button, exactly. It's gonna taste good either way. Yes. And we're just gonna stir that chicken up. Again, bringing it a little bit back to life so you don't just feel like you're eating broccoli and chicken and rice all week long, right? These are totally different Which, flavors. I was gonna say all different flavors. I mean, you yeah. got Asian, you got chili, you got barbecue. So yeah, yeah very, exactly. Very Something for everyone. And then our chicken gets sprinkled right on top of our casserole. And then I'm gonna add, because what makes everything better? Bacon. Oh, bacon. It's back. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> and again, you can prep that earlier in the week to save yourself some time the day of. And then this goes into the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And that's it. And then Warm that's it. Up and you eat it. Supper's and, ready. And the kids love it. And they love it. Well, again, what I love is the planning aspect. We talk about that a lot on the show. You have to plan ahead. If you just go into the week not knowing what you're gonna eat, you're gonna probably overspend. Yes. So knowing ahead of time what you're doing, getting ingredients that are it's easy to make and it's inexpensive, right? We're not trying to like be like culinary chefs here. We're trying to get people fit. Yes. That's the key. That's yes. it. Everyone needs to be fed. And then being able to reuse stuff. It literally, it is my, one of my favorite things when I can open up my refrigerator and I'm like, oh, I had chicken left over from these tacos. Yes. So then I can just throw it into the salad. Like you can just reuse things. It's just, oh, you, you feel productive and you're saving money. And again, all really inexpensive, you guys. So affordable. And website again? Fedandfit.com. Okay. And the book, where can they find it? Cook Once, Eat All Week. You can find it really anywhere books are sold. Perfect. So great. Well, Cassie Joy Garcia, you're amazing. Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks much. for coming on. Thank you for having me. Again, easy meals, save that money.